Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be doing a Draw My Life. If you don't know what a Draw My Life is, I'm literally going to be drawing my life. And um, from when I'm born up until now, and it should be pretty interesting. I hope you guys like it. Let's get started. So I guess you could say my life started on March 25th, 1998, which was when I was born, of course. <laughs> um, I was born in a city called Tucson in Arizona, and I did come a few, a little bit early actually, so it was no surprise that when I came out, I was a tiny little baby, and I only weighed about 5 pounds. But I had a lot of thick black hair, and I loved to sleep. The entire time my mom was pregnant with me, she worked as a secretary dispatcher for an airline, which basically she sent packages all over. My dad repaired the heating and cooling in hospitals mostly, but he did it pretty much everywhere, like a maintenance man. When I was about a year and a half old, my dad got offered a better job in a different city in Arizona, and we had to move. But me, I was too little to know what was going on. So it was saying goodbye to my grandparents and my big sister, and we had to move to a city called Douglas, Arizona. Once we got to Douglas, we found a house that we all really liked. It was big and had a huge yard. The yard was big enough that we actually ended up getting two dogs and I named them Jijo and Princeton. About four years later, I was finally old enough to start kindergarten and I was so excited. I had heard so much about it and I wanted to see what it was all about for myself. I remember my very first day of kindergarten ever. <laughs> I met two girls named Giselle and Savannah and they actually ended up becoming my very best friends for the entire school year. After kindergarten, I was going into first grade, but unfortunately my school closed and I had to move schools all together. I went to this new school from first to third grade, but it really sucked. I lost all of my friends. Unfortunately, at this new school, there were no nice kids. Everyone was mean to me and it honestly really sucked really bad and I started getting bullied. Then my family and I moved again, this time because of the bullying and we thought maybe a new house and a new school would be a fresh start. But then, things at home started getting really bad. My dad became an alcoholic and started abusing my mom, and I was always really worried about her. One day, my dad actually hit me, and my mom had had enough of it, and we decided that it would be best if we left Douglas and went back to Tucson to be with my grandma, grandpa, and my sister again. In Tucson, I started a new school, and I was in fifth grade. I met a girl named Lisa at the bus stop one day right outside my house and she ended up becoming my best friend. She lived right across the street from me and I ended up spending way more time at her house than at my own. After that school year, elementary school was over and it was time to go to middle school. The summer going into sixth grade happened to be the worst summer of my life. Lisa ended up moving states and we would never get to see each other again. I was very, very upset. Losing friends is very hard. Since Lisa moved away, I started middle school all alone and I had no friends there with me. This really upset me and I started getting bullied more and more often and the name calling just got worse and worse and I was made fun of for my glasses and because I wasn't the best looking person and it was really bad and I hated it. I became really really depressed and that of course made my grades drop drastically. I hated myself, I saw all the flaws everyone else pointed out in me and I honestly didn't want to deal with anything anymore. The worst part about all this was I had no idea how to deal with it and the rest of middle school was just a blur and I was a big depressed mess. So let's fast forward to 10th grade when things started getting a little bit better. I stayed home most of 10th grade, I skipped school a lot and pretended to be sick when I wasn't just so I wouldn't have to go and deal with everything. That was lighting for me at school that always made me feel really crappy. On my last day of 10th grade, I had to go to a meeting with the principal, who then told me that I wasn't allowed back at this school anymore because I had missed so many days. Go me. My mom still wanted me to go to school, so I was allowed to try a new school for 11th grade, and I honestly kind of liked it. It was a really good school, and I'm glad I went. My very first day there, so many people approached me and wanted to be my friend, all because they thought I had the coolest blue hair. And you know what? I was okay with that because at least they weren't being mean to me. Even though I was so much happier at the school and even made really good friends, my anxiety kept getting worse and worse and I could, just could not handle being in a classroom with so many people for so long. This was only a little over a year ago, but I started getting really into YouTube. I loved what these YouTubers were doing and how they were using their platforms to help people out. And I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to make videos that I enjoyed making and that helped other people. So that's exactly what I did. 
In August of 2014, I made my first ever YouTube video, which was just a hair tutorial, but it got deleted because I did not know what copyright was. The views went from 100 to 1000 very quickly and I was mind blown. All the comments were very supportive and positive. One day, I got a Twitter DM from Brian Stars who asked me if I was interested in being a part of a collab channel. Of course I said yes, and this led to me meeting seven of my best friends and my boyfriend. Now, almost a year later, the channel has grown to over 400,000 escapers, which is what we call our viewers. And I gotta say, I couldn't be any happier that I get to do what I get to do with such amazing people. If there's one thing that I've learned, it's that no matter how bad things are now, they really won't be bad forever, I promise you, and you just need to stay strong and keep going because it will get better. Thank all of you so much for giving me the opportunity to do what I love and help people while I do it. I love you all very, very much.